Hello everybody. Welcome to the North House Folk School. My name is Eric Swenson. Hey guys, I'm Aaron Erlovich from the North House Folk School Fall Fly Fishing Clinic. In this video diary, we're going to talk a little bit about our recent fall class. Uh, pleased to have 12 students with us and uh, to hold this class in October. On day one, we spent most of the time at North House uh, either in classrooms or out on the dock practicing our casting. Some subjects that we studied in the classroom were choosing time and location to target migratory species, selecting the proper equipment for the conditions at hand, selecting the correct fly for the conditions, the types of water fish are going to hold in, and how to present to each of those types of hold, On day two, we got them out on the water. Uh, everybody started to get uh, loose, get, get back into that fishing mode, start to feel the difference between uh, tapping a sinker on a rock on the bottom of the stream or uh, the possibility that that's a strike. Here, one of our students shows that he already has quite a bit of casting skill. This uh, student also fishes from a pedal board, which uh, sounds challenging to fly fish from a pedal board. To even stand on one sounds challenging. I've not done it. He found himself a beautiful spot here above a waterfall. Gorgeous there in the fall, of course. Let's take a look. Nice healthy rainbow. Yeah. That's gonna be, this is probably his last year uh, in here. So at the end of this year, he's gonna run out and he's gonna be a lake fish. In some ways, this class ended up being as much about sightseeing and adventure as it was about fishing, which is good. We were uh, uh, hoping they would have an adventure as well as learn some things. Catching steelhead and salmon and other trout species uh, in the tributaries of Lake Superior can be very challenging. We had a great day at Gooseberry. Of course, the falls are always great to look at. People were catching fish and having fun. Aaron did a little fly tying at night. Keep us in flies during the day. Up with the steely bugger idea. And I'm right now I'm just wrapping a good thread wrap base um, of some olive thread. You can kind of see um, right now I'm using some 210 Ultra. And what I'm going to do is grab a chunk of our barred rabbit strip I have here. I'm going to grab the end here that kind of looks, kind of see it's got a nice point to it or an end. We're going to grab about a three inch segment and we're going to separate our rabbit strip, or rabbit fur, where we cut the strip. Here he talks about a special pattern that uh, he ties at the Superior Angler and some of his co-workers tie. 
really great looking fly. Uh, definitely triggers the fish, gets them excited. While we watch this time lapse of Aaron finishing up this steely bugger, remember that Aaron's a professional guide and he is available for hire for your next fishing trip on the North Shore. Go to NorthShoreGuideService.com and schedule your guided trip with Aaron. He's extremely knowledgeable about all aspects of North Shore tributary migratory fishing. Hey guys, I'm Aaron Erlovich from the North House Folk School Fall Fly Fishing Clinic. We just wrapped things up. Uh, it's three o'clock on a beautiful Wednesday afternoon and we finished our last day of in-field classes with uh, our 12 students. Uh, it went terrific. We had uh, fish caught, we had a lot learned. Um, we saw folks go from totally new fly anglers to eventually uh, landing their, their first migratory fish. Uh, we caught salmon, we caught trout, uh, rainbow trout, brook trout, we caught all kinds of different species, so it was great. I'm gonna get back in full force and teach this class again at the uh, North House Folk School Grand Marais. If you want to learn more about that, head to northhousefolkschool.com and they have information about the uh, itineraries there and where to sign up. Registration does fill up quick. Uh, we booked up solid this year and I think next year we're gonna fill up uh, even quicker. Thanks a lot guys. Have a great day.